Hi there everyone, um, I'm just come back today um, to show you my design team project for Crafty Embrace for this month. I'm using my sign Jane, <laughs> thank you very much again. Um, I was actually really disappointed because I did film myself making this um, and for some reason the camera decided to take a hissy fit and um, I didn't get it. <laughs> don't know what's happened to it, tried, but um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video this morning to show you what my design team project is for this month. Um, the theme being wings, as you will have seen, because I think Jane's video is uploaded now and Seema has her one uploaded. So I will just go ahead and show you my design team project. So I'll move this to one side. I've got the feet and everything fixed on now, Jane, so it's looking fab. <laughs> So this theme was picked by Judy this month and our blog is now live so if you go to the um, blog you will see it um, last month's winner has been announced so if you pop over to the blog you'll see that and uh, this month you'll see all the design team's um, creations for this theme which is wings. So what I came up with was I took one of the Michael's birdhouses that I bought when I was in the States and I mounted it up onto some of the little spools that I also got when I was in the States. So there's two of those, so I used six in total, so I've got like three feet that support the birdhouse on there. And I just, um, what I did was I hot glued them together, put up the side of the spools, sorry, that'll be the old sweeper going by, making a lovely noise. <laughs> What I actually did was I took a lolly stick and made sort of splints that go up the centre of the spools um, and I hot glued them so it just um, makes them more stable so they're not going to break off and fall off. Um, to cover the join of the spool, not necessarily just to cover it up because there wasn't anything wrong with it, but what I've done was, you can see on the bottom there, hopefully this will focus, I have some sort of rose trim going around the centre here along with some of the wild orchid craft. Um, tiny, tiny rose buds that I've just sort of wrapped around the legs of them as well. So <clears throat> I put that together and I painted everything just a, a cream colour that I mixed up um, with my acrylic paints. So I painted the whole thing cream and left it to dry. The base is actually made from, it was one of the old plaques um, that I think Nana gave me. Um, and it had a picture on the front here and all I did was I sanded it and I covered it in um, some Versamark and I put on green embossing powder and I also used some of the green flock and it's the first I've really used this stuff and I don't know if I would use it again but it just gave a bit of texture rather than being shiny green it gave a sort of grass kind of effect on the base here. Um, onto the front I attached, this is one of the Crafty Embleys, the picket planes I think it is. Uh, what I did with that is again I used the Versamark and I covered it in the shabby pink embossing powder which is by Stampendous. Um so I covered it in that and again here is more of the um, crafty embrace leaves that are sitting in here. Um, I covered them with some green ink and then this is just like a cluster of flowers that I've got in here from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is a sort of porcelain kind of dough flower that I have a moustache and I spritz that with some um, cosmic shimmer. I've inserted a little stick pin in here that I made up. Um, I've got a little butterfly that's in here and um, just glued that on there. This side is just more or less mirrored from this side, slightly different um, layout and it's also got a little stick pin in the top here. Excuse my fingers because I have been working with paint and stuff so and then I just trimmed it off around the front here with some um, pearl string trim here. Again, the box here is just trimmed, well it's all painted cream, trimmed the roof with some, this white a uh, sort of trim here, and I can't remember if that's mine that I got in the States, or if I maybe got that from Fiona, I'm not sure, but that was a moustache, it just, I thought it would look quite cool because it looks like, um, little, um, good grief I'm not thinking right this morning, it looks like little tiles, roof tiles. And then around the top there, I just trimmed it with some cream uh, Chinese braid 
which comes around the back here as well and trimmed it around down the side and underneath the roof. I left the back completely plain because I didn't want it any more than that. Um, just left this all plain and then again down the bottom here um, I trimmed up some more Chinese braid. These are the little 10 millimeter Wild Orchid Craft Roses and I just curled the stems and left them in the corner here too. Like that all the way around. Okay, and I did edge the box, the birdhouse up with some Victorian velvet distress ink just to take the creaminess off it and blend it in a little bit. And I did rub it over the um, trim on the roof as well. And again there's a little butterfly on the back of the uh, birdhouse there. So I think that's all on there. And then round the front what I've done is this is some Prima lace that I have and I just, I love it. I have it in this sort of mauvey brown colour and I have it in the lemon and I just, it's lovely, lovely lace. Just love that. Um, I've got some more Wild Art Craft Flowers here, 10mm roses and this is the Cherry Blossom, I think, in the pink and white. Um, the opening to the birdhouse, I trimmed that with some flat back iridescent pearls that I have. And then the little perch on the front, I wrap around some, um, it's actual this stuff and it came from Ikea. What do they call this stuff? I'm not sure. It's like twiny kind of thing. And I got this, this is just an Ikea one. So I wrap that round and round the perch. I actually got this from my friend, um, Becca gave me that, so thank you Ben. <laughs> um, so that's on the perch there just to cover it up. And then one of the crafty Embley's birds is sitting on here. Um, I didn't do much to the bird other than adding a little bit of stickle into the eye. And this has got a little a metal butterfly sitting on the perch with the bird as well. I used some of my pearl bling, which is bling in a roll that I had. So I used that on either side of the front. Again, there's the Chinese braid to trim off from the front with a... Uh, uh, the Wild Art Craft 10mm roses again with spirals at the stems. These are the Crafty Emily Swan Wings and I attached them onto the side, the base of the birdhouse, some hot glue. And these have just been whitewashed, um, just a nice whitewash on them. My gesso isn't very good um, and I have some actual kiddies paint that I got from Tesco <laughs> of all places and it's really really cheap and it does the job. So. It was actually Trisha, a little shabby chic that I saw was whitewashing some of the craft emblies and I did say to you Trisha that I liked the effect so I've tried it with the wings here and it's just made them slightly more white, kind of shabby looking on the birdhouse. And then again you can see just down in here there's another rose that's peeping through that's attached onto the leg here and I think that is my design team project. I've got a butterfly I think I mentioned that's on the fence down here as well and uh, that's it. I'm going to put some felt on the bottom of it but that was my design team project for this month for the Crafty Embleys. So like I said if you go over to the blog you will see um, we're now becoming an altered art group and we also have new design team members who are going to be doing paper crafting and cards um, with the Embleys, just to show how versatile they are for not only altered and mixed media arts but also for card makers as well. So there's details on the blog of this. Um, the new design team will be announced soon um, and their challenge blog will be going live. Um, I think it's in a couple of weeks time they will be going live. So like I say it will be announced and there's details on the blog about it so if you go over there you'll see it. Um, I'll leave a link below for the blog. Um, pop along and like I say the theme is wings. This was just my take on it. I made a birdhouse and I had the birds and the swan wings and things on it. Just something a bit different. Um, so if you pop over join in with us and uh, I hope to see some of your lovely entries on there as well. And uh, I hope you like what I've come up with. Um, it's the first birdhouse I've kind of made so I was quite pleased how it turned out. And uh, I will uh, be back soon, but like I said, go over to the blog and check out all the other um, creations that the design. We have new design team members on the older art side as well, so they've joined in this time, and some of the creations they have are wonderful too. Well, they all they're all wonderful. So um, 
go across for a look and uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.